Big as it is, London's easy to get around in. And once you're oriented, riding its double-decker buses can be both efficient and fun. For me, enjoying the view from the top deck is one of the great treats of this city. We're entering the historic core of London, the one square mile district locals call simply the city. While only a few thousand people actually live here, its nine to five crowd numbers half a million. This is Britain's Wall Street, thriving with big time commerce and packed with banks. The city is also packed with history. This monument commemorates the devastating fire of 1666, which started here and burned down nearly all of London. These reliefs show in heroic terms how city leaders came together determined to rebuild. The great architect Christopher Wren was chosen to spearhead the project. And the city that rose from the ashes of that fire was decorated by the Wren design spires of some 50 churches. Christopher Wren spent four decades the rest of his life working on his grand vision. The centerpiece, this mighty cathedral, St. Paul's. Today, it's the symbol of London's resilience, its rise from the Great Fire, and of London's survival of the Blitz of World War II. The church is one of the world's biggest. Wren accentuated its spaciousness by the lack of decoration. Notice the simple ceiling and the clear glass lighting everything evenly. Today, only the west end of the church keeps Wren's original vision. In the 1800s, Queen Victoria called St. Paul's dim, dingy, and ungodly. So the east end of the church was then slathered with Victorian bling. Beautiful Victorian bling. While the church's survival in World War II was almost miraculous, the apse of the church did take a direct hit and was destroyed. Today, it's rebuilt as the American Memorial Chapel to honor our nation's contribution to the defense of Britain. We see Jesus, Mary, and George Washington. The American iconography includes stars, stripes, and eagles. And behind birds and plants native to the USA, it's a U.S. rocket, circa 1958, shooting up to the stars. The British are grateful to their World War II allies. The Roll of Honor lists the 28,000 American servicemen based in Britain who gave their lives. Climbing the dome is like climbing a 30-story building with no elevator. And the reward? A commanding view of London. Christopher Wren spent nearly half his life working on St. Paul's. At age 75, he got to see his son crown his masterpiece with this golden cross. 